Tonight, the Seven Action News investigators uncover questions about the safety of a popular form of birth control. More than two million women use the Mirena intrauterine device, but we found thousands have complained about dangerous complications. Seven Action News investigator Heather Catalo is taking action for you tonight, getting answers about this birth control. We analyzed thousands of rarely seen government records. They show women have been reporting problems with the Mirena IUD for years. Problems that have left some women infertile, in pain, and in need of surgery. This is the Mirena IUD. I started getting severe pain. It's a piece of plastic wrapped with a second little piece of plastic that has a hormone built into it. And that it was horrible. We simply insert this up into the uterus. They told me that it needed to be removed as soon as possible. We pull the applicator out, take a pair of scissors, cut the string at about this length. And I would never recommend it to anyone. A patient can choose to leave the Mirena in for up to five years. At the five year point, we can simply pull it out. Turned out to be a nightmare. Sarah's IUD perforated her uterus and floated into her abdomen, just like in this x-ray of another woman. Doctors had to perform surgery to remove it. Sarah is one of thousands of women who have complained about problems with the birth control. The 7 Action News investigators obtained these rarely seen Food and Drug Administration reports, which show more than 70,000 complaints since 2000. Some are minor, like acne, headaches, and back pain. Others are not. Since 2008, close to 5,000 women reported device dislocation, which can mean the IUD becomes embedded in the uterus or migrates outside of the uterus. Close to 4,000 women complained about abdominal pain. More than 1,300 women reported the same problem as Sarah. The IUD perforated their uterus. This is an x-ray of a woman whose IUD perforated her uterus. The device should be here in her uterus, but you can see it migrated through her body and up into her rib cage. Attorneys Don Shimaleski and John Klamako have filed lawsuits on behalf of five women who experienced complications. They expect to file hundreds more. We have 900 cases in house. These are pretty horrific injuries. Dawn says the IUD lacerated one client's liver. Another needed an appendectomy and hysterectomy as a result of a uterine perforation. She was 22. What these people aren't being told is that at any time after this device is in place, it, it can perforate the uterus and cause these complications. There are currently more than 220 cases filed in federal and state courts. The problem with this particular device is just astronomical. Rochester attorney Allison Oliver says she has 74 cases of women who've had problems with the Mirena. People plan on having, you know, three kids and, you know, something like this happens and, you know, it, it's over with. So, I mean, it's a big deal. It's a, it's a, it's a problem. I think it's really a crying shame. I, I, I think that if you polled physicians, we just don't have that opinion that this is a defective product. Dr. Thomas Frank is the director of family planning at Metro Health Medical Center in Cleveland. Medical evidence is quite clear that Mirena IUD is, is one of the absolute safest forms of contraception that's available today. There are currently two million women using Mirena. Dr. Frank has prescribed it since 2001. Mirena is really appropriate for any woman who is potentially fertile who doesn't want to get pregnant. It's amazing, so convenient. Like Allie Thompson. You don't have to worry about taking a pill every day, and it lasts for five years, so you can't beat that. Hmm, I don't think I took my pill today. Bayer Healthcare Pharmaceuticals manufactures Mirena, but declined an on-camera interview. In a statement, they say, quote, they take the safety of our products very seriously. For that reason, we continuously review the safety profile of all of our products worldwide. The FDA says no drug is absolutely Absolutely safe and approved drugs show their benefits outweigh their known risks. The all, overall risks of the Mirena IUD are tremendously less than the risk of the other devices that are available today and certainly much less than the risk of not using any protection at all. Sarah still has pain on her left side. Her doctor told her it's nerve damage that will never go away. I mean, you think you're doing something to help yourself and your family, and then it just ends up turning into a disaster. But Sarah still feels lucky. A few years after her ordeal, she had a healthy baby boy. For more information on the FDA complaints, please head to WXYZ.com. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.